artist right now can take on the responsibility of talking about things that are going on in the world and they can actually have an audience with a limited amount of censorship. At least get it out there immediately and then it can be taken down. My name is Michael Murphy. I was born in Youngstown, Ohio. I currently live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a sculptor. I make sculpture and installation art. Uh, I started making the sculptures that I create. I began that body of work 22 years ago. I was very fascinated with projection. I started making visual art around the same time that the internet came about. Photoshop was inventing layers. Personal video became a possibility for people in their homes. And technology with visuals saw a big shift. When I was in college, I remember being jealous of musicians because they were able to create their, their media and distribute it to the entire world in moments, right? And everybody could access it. Everybody could listen to music wherever they were. No matter where you were in the world, you could listen to music. And that wasn't the case with visual art. Visual art was inaccessible. You had to go to a museum, you had to go to a gallery, or somewhere else, to, or an artist's studio, to see a work of art. But then when the internet came along and visual images became something that people could access anywhere in the world, visual artists kind of got a new lease on what they were doing. They were able to distribute their images to a broad audience, to millions of people in moments. Like right now, I can make an artwork and I can put it on Instagram, and five million people can see it. Now artists have the option of, of you know, tackling the government.